I'd like to start with what you started with in being accessible because I, one of the simplest lessons that we'll keep sharing together and hopefully sharing with others is that there's, I call it the Meltzer kaleidoscope, but there's a lens that I look through life with. And it's not just one lens, it's a kaleidoscope. It has three different colors to it. The first is gratitude. If, if you can train yourself to practice and fear, to utilize a perspective that my past has no resentment or offense to it, it only has learning lessons and light and love in it, but my past is just amazing. My present is even brighter, right? My present is extraordinary, and my future is even better than that. That's a lens of gratitude. I get to do this. I don't have to do anything, right? I, it's a try me attitude. Things get challenging. It's like, oh yeah, man, try me. Not the why me attitude of the entitled, entitled uh, multiples about masses out there and blame, shame, and justification. So, you know, to have a lens of gratitude is even more important than the accessibility. Who wants to access you or do you want to access anything if you're not grateful? So I start with the lens of gratitude and then I move to actually a lens of productivity. Uh, and the lens of productivity is simply viewing everything through the lens of how can I be of service, of help, provide value, being kind to my future self, helping somebody with a stroller, allowing me to understand, like I've taught Jeff Fenster in the philosophy of his 20 some stores of Everbull in 18 months, that it's not just the customer's right, it's you're of service, yeah. right? It's how can I be of service to you? And if you like your, you know, bun with no sesame seeds, then it's my responsibility to take the sesame seeds off the bun for you, right? I don't care how long it takes. You, you Owning one customer for life is way more than serving one customer for a day. Yeah. And when you take the sesame seeds off a bun, you own a customer for life because nobody else will do it. No one else is kind to their future self. No one else lives in a lens of gratitude and productivity. Then finally, what we're talking about, which people think to me, they give me too much credit for being accessible. I, I'm in the flow, right? So accessibility is how can I be accessible to more people and how can I access what I want? Oh, I know, being accessible to more people. The more people I'm accessible to, the more people I'm helping, the more people I'm service of. Therefore, like I train you, is to ask this series of questions to get there, to live my life with that lens. A series of questions of how I can be of service and provide value and a series of questions of how can you be of service and help me. You and I have been friends in, in a mentor-mentee relationship for a shorter amount of time. About a month. About a month, right? About a month. But I can't think of anyone that I feel like I'm in the flow with more in a business sense. Right? It's just like, oh, I'll do this, oh, I'll do that. We're, we're just flowing, and it's like Scott Kapp and Jeff Fenster, the barbecue, into speeches, into training, into the digital hospitality. And it, that's just the start. I can't wait for a year from now. You know, it's so awesome. And I see it. I went to the Super Bowl, and it's a mile marker for truly the execution on your digital hospitality concept. I've been executing on I don't name it that. But it's very similar to what you do. And I saw the results over three years at the Super Bowl because, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk and I sat down, and, you know, he convinced me to have digital hospitality I where I was traditional hospitality before. Yeah. And there I was. This mile marker has been incredible.